Hello, welcome to my channel. This is a short review and tutorial of FX Open. Have you heard of them? I assume it is since you searched for it. So what is your first impression and had you been trading with them? If you are a newbie, make sure to stay through the whole video. FX Open, found in 2005, this site serves an estimate of 100,000 visitors per month. The majority of the visitors come from Brazil and South Africa. Please ignore United States since most forex services were banned there. FXOpen.com this company was registered in Novis, some island above Venezuela. FXOpen.com was a member of the financial commissions. Please note that FXOpen is not regulated by ASIC and FCA. Look, pay attention, listen, listen, listen. You are only protected by ASIC if you register at FXOpen.com.au .com.au or FCA at fxopen.co.uk .co.uk Just in case if you want to register with them, please use my link. Do it at fxopen.com.au Now the weird thing is both .com.au and .co.uk weren't receiving any traffic according to SimilarWeb since the page was empty. When you don't see a result from your search in SimilarWeb, meaning the website you enter possibly receive less than 500 visitors per month. That's weird, isn't it? Do you know why? I have no idea, do you? Huh, weird. Oh well, let's continue since none of us knows. Weird. Let's start by registering an account. I will use fxopen.com for account registration just for demonstrations. Remember, do register at fxopen.com.au if you want to be protected under by the regulatory body of ASIC. Before registering an account, you are required an email address, a phone number, your personal identity documents, and a device to trade. On the home page, click open account. Fill up all the necessary details. Accept the agreement and privacy policies. Click submit. Now this is your e-wallet ID and PIN code. Ignore the ID, it doesn't really matter if you have to memorize it, but save the PIN code. This code is required whenever a withdrawal request is made. Save it with a screenshot or on a piece of paper or on your phone. Verify your email address. Log in with the email and password you have just created with. Welcome to FX Open dashboard. Now click to complete the verification process. Otherwise, you are not allowed to use the wallet for deposit or withdrawal funds. Click personal account since I assume you are an individual trader. Select your country. Enter your phone number and confirm with SMS. The next thing they request was your personal identity documents like your passport or national ID. If you're about to take a picture of this document, make sure to stuff a piece of paper writing this is for FX open verification purpose only. Next, they want a selfie of your documents with your face saying cheese. To prove your identity, make sure to hold along with that piece of paper writing FX open verification purpose only. You have no choice to skip this verification process, so... I chat with them through a live chat asking what's the differences between the grades like grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, and grade 4. The answer they gave me was grade 2 is enough. Grade 3 and grade 4 is unnecessary. Now back to the dashboard. On the left side, we see a couple of names like main, crypto, to STP. Let me shortly introduce the account types here. Main is basically a wallet. This forex broker works a little different than most forex broker. In case if you want to make a deposit, your funds will go either to your wallet or to the account you specified. I wrote a bunch of numbers here, sorry for my ugly handwritings. The right with the dollar signs are the minimum deposit requirement for account opening. First, we have cryptos. If you want to trade cryptocurrencies like Bitcoins, Dogecoins, Litecoins, Bitcoin Cash, or Libra, you can register an account by clicking the cryptos. The maximum leverage they offer is 1 to 3, and the minimum deposit required is $10. Crypto 10 offer a higher leverage up to 1 to 10, with higher margin call and stop out. Then we have the ECN account for forex trading. 
instead of charging you spread the based on commission per lot, which they offer ridiculous low commissions. That's as low as $1.50 commission per standard lot trade depends on your trading volume. ECN MT5 is the same as ECN but accounts are registered for MetaTrader 5. ECN Tick Trader, as the name suggested, the account registered are for Tick Trader. Investment are copy trading, meaning you are copying other traders trade. Micro are based on micro lots or 100,000 unit per standard lot. With a minimum $1 deposit, micro are trade based on micro lot or 1000 unit per standard lot with a minimum $1 deposit. If you are new to this game, you should just get a demo account instead. STP is a regular account with $10 minimum deposit requirement. I will register a normal STP account. So click the word STP. Tick the I agree. Meanwhile, download the MetaTrader file first. There are two versions, one for ECN and one for STP. Download the STP. Actually, they were the same. Anyway, tick I agree and continue. Select your account currency. Select the leverage you prefer. Create a password. Not sure why it was written phone password. It's a password to log into MetaTrader anyway. Click next and this is your MetaTrader trading account details. Save it down. Install the MetaTrader file you have just downloaded if you haven't. When you first open your MetaTrader software, you are asked to select a server to connect to. Back to the login details, mine was real1.fxopen.net. I'll be choosing fxopen real one you can also copy and paste the server link into the little box just to be more secure. Click next. Click existing trade account and enter the login details you were given earlier. Click finish and welcome to the Forex market. We are seeing our account balance is zero. We may want to deposit funds first before start trading. So back to the account dashboard, hover your mouse to the add funds. They offer a huge variety of deposit methods. My preference is web money and wire transfer if you are trading big. Anyway, a little complaint here, the unsatisfying things I've encountered on this site is slow. It kind of wonders me if they rented a cheap server or what. Loading up the dashboard takes age and I get several times now for opening a trade. The deposit takes quite a while to show up too. By a while, that was half an hour. So now my funds were successfully credited. We are looking to start the trade. Also, I've made a tutorial video of the basics of MetaTrader 4. If you have just started using it, you may want to watch it. In that case, I will skip directly on opening a random trade. I'll be trading Swift Yen. Since my account currency is SWIFT and SWIFT was known as safe haven currency. And there is my SWIFT yen. Modifying my take profit and stop loss. And a while later, my trade was closed in profit. That was lucky. So now, since I've already made some profit, I would like to withdraw it now. Getting back to FX Open Dashboard. Hovering my crucial to withdraw funds, then back money as I deposit with it as a payment method. Enter all necessary details and the PIN code given upon registration that I ask you to save it down. It took roughly more than 6 hours for my withdrawals getting processed. 
At least it was not a scam. Anyway, this will be the end of the video. Last reminder, if you owe the trade with them, do get an account on either .com.au or .co.uk. Goodbye.